Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as the second, second Mexican Empire. Cool. Um, right now, as you can tell, we are trying to really eliminate the NCR and then potentially Hopeville as well. Because Hopeville and Ashton might be the location of some supposed nukes. And nukes are always a fun addition to add to your arsenal. But anyways, um, yeah, the NCR is definitely going to die within probably at least the first 15 minutes of this campaign. 94,000 manpower, 71 divisions, which is about, quite literally, a third of what they had previously when they were fighting the Phoenix Federation. Cool. Also, like I said at the, last, the end of last episode, I did not realize that Greater Dayglo, or just Dayglo in general, is a play on words for Diego. San Diego Dayglo. Oh my goodness. Oh, the mod developers are certainly something, aren't they? But, anyways, the show must go on. Let's do this, even though I probably won't need to do this for too much. Um, yeah. So, I have been thinking about the next playthrough. Someone said I should play maybe as the Western Brotherhood, especially since the latest update, you know, since, since this Mexican update came out. Playing as a Brotherhood has potentially become a little bit more challenging because of the way power armor works. Um, I've been told that maybe I should play as the Broken Coast, perhaps. Play as a tribal nation, which I have not done yet. I have not done that yet on any sort of playthrough thus far. But, someone also within the past few days or weeks, has also mentioned I should play as the Chickens. The Chicken Itza. The Chichen Itza. So, I am playing around. Well, actually, I haven't, I haven't been playing around at the moment because I'm actually a little bit busy right now. Especially as I'm recording this. But by the time you guys watch this, it'll be Friday. Or whenever you watch this. And I should then have well, supposedly more time, to check out other nations that I want to share with you in my campaigns. So, that being said, I don't know who I'm going to play as next. This will probably, honestly, be the last episode in this campaign, just because once you take out the Super NCR, and then you take out the, Fed the Kaiser's Legion or the Phoenix Federation, there really isn't a whole lot to do. I mean, at least challenging-wise, yes, it can be a little bit difficult trying to find the mountains, but that's not too much of a challenge since I have, like, 168, 160-some, like, ground attack on my planes. But anyways, we have the fall of Shady Sands following three days of skirmishing. The government of the NCR has today confirmed that their beloved capital, Shady Sands, has fallen into the hands of the second, second Mexican Empire. The capture of the city comes despite fierce resistance from both the NCR Rangers and the town's militias, although precise information on the battle for Shady Sands is quite sparse. It appears that the second, second Mexican Empire's final assault was spearheaded by a group of bikers who managed to overwhelm the last Ranger defenders at the main entrance. The bikers, utilizing their mo mobility and small size, rapidly spread through the city for forcing almost every NCR trooper to take shelter inside buildings. Second Second Mexican Empire forces followed with the bikers, surrounding and destroying each cluster of NCR troopers one by one, either by breaking down the door or by leveling the buildings NCR troops barely defended. Shady Sands itself appears to have been heavily damaged. Only a small portion of building remains standing, including the Hall of Congress, from which flags of the Second Second Mexican Empire now fly, or SSME. Or S SME. The SME. The SME. Oh yeah, we're also fighting the Desert Rangers, so... That is something to keep in mind as well, and we've been pushing for a while. And I haven't really given my guys an, ex an extreme amount of support. So let's go ahead and throw in some more airports around here. That will be very, very nice. Very, very nice. I love the airports. So really, the reason I want to go to war with Hopeville and Ashton mostly is because if we can get access to nukes, then we might be able to break everyone else's will and just make them bend the knee and submit to the second, second Mexican Empire. Um, I think that would probably be good that if... The Mexicans, we Mexican robots, can get nukes. The living, the squishies, um, can uh, bow down to us. And by squishies, I, I don't know why I said squishies, but it reminds me of a certain video game where the term squishies was used to describe living organisms. If you know what video game that is, please comment below of what I think I am referring to. Because that was a game series I love to play, and it's all around, but... I wish I would make another game soon. Anyways. Um, infantry. These are robots. Ah, that's kind of a mix. Uh, throw you over here. No, never mind. Throw you over here. That'll be fine. I mean, honestly, the NCR. At this point, you're not looking so hot. Oh, wait. Even if, uh, I still have to capitulate the Desert Rangers regardless. Because they're not part of the same faction. Actually, what are our losses? I'm not looking on the left side here. Non-tological -tolo bombing. 
All right, we've set for about 3,000. We'll probably hit up to 4,000 in total, but that's kind of okay in my opinion, just because for a war like this, you kind of expect that. Where are you guys even positioned? You guys are positioned in like the worst possible way. So I'm gonna actually have. Uh, how many armies are actually down here? Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, coming over here to this side, we could use a little bit more strength on this side, actually. There you go. And more battle barges? Okay. I'm not even going to use these. I don't... I haven't personally seen a lot of ship battles go on between me and the NCR and her allies. But I'm assuming that they're happening. They're happening. They're, they're going on. Oh, critical hits. Critical hits. Critical hits. String telephones. Okay. Mm, ooh, river fleet. More screen ship organization. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Where are you guys at? You're still moving around, having a good old time. So for now, for the infantry, go ahead and be careful what you do, because we're seeing a lot of red here. I don't like seeing a lot of red. Where are we currently at, guys? Where are we currently at? What if... We decided to have a small little stop here. Thomas Robertson wounded. Let's go ahead and reorganize our line a little bit. Just go and throw everything away here. Um, let me see. So this is a small infantry, even though these are under the same robot army. Um, sorry, someone just texted me about if I want a spicy chicken sandwich. And you always say yes. Always say yes to a spicy chicken sandwich. Anyways. Um, you guys, come over here under this person, even though they're still... Oh, these are infantry. So that's more than fine. For this... So, the main army is down there. Well, we have Miguel... Com Augustus Bragg coming up. So, that'll be fine. You guys, it's still... Mm, you know what? It's still one massive front, so that's okay. Do something like that. Everyone come up this direction. You guys come down to Baja, California, because even though we have still have guys down here, that's okay. Let you guys do that, and let everyone else gets settled and situated. That'll be good. All right, then. Construction Engineering, Maximilian, so beautiful. Second son of Tlaloc, the proud ghost of Mexico's second dead emperor, has bided his time carefully, expanding his car control throughout his father's network over decades now. Suddenly thrust into the world with his own slice of paradise, the amiable royal intends to rule over his Mexican subjects once more forever. Perhaps due to the Eurocentric nature of the history provided to Tlaloc, Maximilian is warm, compassionate, and somewhat foolish. His characteristic naivety has manifested itself more dangerously in silicon than flesh, creating a benevolent but deeply unstable entity. Unlike his brothers, the Emperor Maximilian is deeply emotional, more human than most humans are. Grieving the loss of his wife, Maximilian surrounds himself with female advisors, hoping to find her reborn, just like him. You know, that sounds a little bit like me, except for the n near the end, because I am not a robot. Ooh, it looks like they actually uh, took back some of the territory. That's fine. We'll give them false hope that they can actually take back some territory. Ooh, over here, though, it's not very good. I'll let you come over here. Um, you guys, if anything, I don't want to get cut off, so you guys come down here. Okay, whew, that's good. So, yeah, we're gonna. It's just a minor restructuring move right now. No big worries. I mean, yeah, we might lose a little bit of land, but, eh, whatever. Um, alright. Oh, bear packs. I was going to see if anyone had enough, uh, ooh, more organization, sure. Actually, before we, I see if anyone has any upgrades, oh, baby, we got a lot of ships. Going to do that, we might, yeah, I'm not even doing that right now. Convoy escorts, that should be fine. Should be fine, right? Um, ooh, a few convoys here and there, thank you very much. Very, very nice. And... I'm not... I'm purposely not attacking for the most part right now. I mean, yeah, they're attacking us, but they can't really do very much against us. Which is more than fine by me. Go ahead and increase infrastructure here. It's not very good down here, so... Alright, so you guys should be able to push fairly easily. And then you guys in the north just kind of wait. More breakthrough. Ooh, even... Oh, power armor gets that. I haven't done anything for power armor. I'm not even using power armor. Um, special units. I mean, there's really no point to. But powered f 
I don't use powered firearm fire team platoons or powered demolitions platoons, so it's really kind of a waste if I do this. Special units, power armor, special units reliability, special forces capacity. Uh let's spend some little bit of army XP. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I'll let them just think that they, they can potentially win. Let them kill themselves on our line. Ah, hundreds of men are dying. Beautiful. And that's why you use robots, my friends. Robots are bueno. You can quote that from Maximilian. Robots are bueno. Support unit. Um, really not... Nothing really here. Fortification stuff. I guess we'll do war industrialists. There's really no point to not do it. Oh, wait. I can still build some of this. Oh, this is all important stuff. Screw the infrastructure. I need more electricity. Look at all this infrastructure that we built up. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Electricity right now, 1600. That's not bad. And it looks like we've conquered quite a bit of former Brotherhood of Steel territory. Oh, you guys. Still kind of rearranging yourselves a little bit. Oh, we got encircled. Kind of. You know what? If that's the case, go ahead and push. Eh, we didn't get encircled, but it's just very tight around here. Obviously, we'll struggle a little bit in the north, which is fine. Happens from time to time. Uh, your infantry. I keep putting you on infantry stuff. Actually, uh, this is not a good thing. So... Oh, I can't actually put you there. Go and deploy those two divisions for now. Come down here. Go ahead and make your way over here as you're getting more supplies. That'd be fine. Do we have anyone else? No, we do not. Eugene Moore. Hello, Eugene. And we're slowly going to come crawling back to take out the NCR. Manpower definitely lower. They lost 11 divisions. Most of the divisions seem concentrated up north, especially near the Desert Ranger territory, which they are out of manpower on scraping the bro, but they have a lot of divisions. So, that's good to know. Hey, look, you guys made it. Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, and go to war with the White Rangers as well. Or White Rangers? Hopeville. You guys are over here. You guys should be able to do okay. Regardless of the circumstances. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're attacking in a mountains, which is something you never want to do. But, I think we'll be okay in the long run. And we want to take out Ashton as well. We're already at war. Oh, it only takes 15 days. Nice. That's pretty good. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Get those guys involved. Cyrus Maxi, you're doing a great job. Go ahead and take the bone yard. We've got convoy raiding going all over the place. Oh, did I tell you guys to go yet or not? You guys are starving for supplies. Good, good, good. You guys just make it like down to the tip here. That'll be good. That'll be nice. Combat boxes, very nice. Air defense. And there's some more strategic bombing that we definitely use a whole lot. So much strategic bombing here. Actually, you're a robot. Ezra, you got nothing here, but you're level 8 still, which is great. Two Harbor. Well, maybe they'll starve there forever. Who knows? String telephone, nice. And then we'll get an engine order telegraph. Interesting. Uh, oh, there goes Hopeville. Very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, Hopeville. Thank you very much for playing. So now, give me all of you guys. Come over here to Ashton. Prepare yourselves, cut you guys in half, and do it on the other side as well. Thank you. We'll attack it from two sides. And they have 10,000 manpower, but only 8 divisions. Not a lot, but not bad. Ah, oh, very nice. You guys are still pushing up. You're doing all sorts of great things. What is Miguel up to? Ooh. Improvisation expert. Ma movement on land bonus? Yes, please. Oh, we can go to war with Ashton immediately. We have until February 15th. So, you guys, when you can, go right on ahead when you can. Give you guys a little bit more days, a few more days for organization. Never mind, I lied. Let's do what the necessary thing is to do. And we got Shady Sands back. Very good. Very nice. Desert Rangers, yeah, they're out of manpower. They have 190 divisions. Shady Sands, now let's make sure we can actually build up some airplane bases here. That would be great. Ports Hill, you guys over here, very nice. And there goes Ashton. Thank you for playing Ashton. 
I don't have any information regarding nukes just yet, but you never know. Yeah, this army under Cyrus, he's just kind of around, just going to be destroying enemies, so. No worries there. Can they pierce me? No. But we can pierce them, which is very, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Um, okay, you want to do that. Well, then, if you want to do that, then I will make sure you have a consequence for doing that. Kind of surprised I haven't moved around a little bit more. Um, these guys are pretty weak. 1v1. I mean, our guys are not very strong. So that might not be the best thing. I'm very lazy to stop the attack right now. So there we go. We'll stop the attack. Up here could be a problem. But how is Baja California looking? Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Ace by the promoted. Very nice. Okay, do that. Cover. Get rid of all this. Ace by the promoted. Very good. Very good. Take that. Make sure these guys stay in still. Do that, 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 that. Coastal parole. Very nice. Very nice. Very awesome. Do that. You guys are doing fine. A little bit more research, perhaps. Uh, screens. More speed and stuff like that. Very good. Light robotos. Light robotos. Where do I put you? You are infantry, so no. Uh, over here. Yeah. That's good. Oh, you guys are actually kind of stuck doing stuff. Ah, see, they came over here now. Um, where are you at? I think it'll be okay if I send you guys actually back up north to cover this stupid hole. There you go. Please make your way up north. You guys should be able to take these guys out then. I want you actually to come here. Double over here, and then back up to here. And then there, there. Foxhole Doctrine, more defense. I love it. Um, platoons. Wait, what is that? Minimum capacity plus seven. I still have coffee in front of me. I'm not even using it. Drinking it. Using coffee. What am I using coffee for? Lubing stuff up? Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Oh, look. They did the same thing again. And I didn't even realize that... There's no way for me to get over here. Okay, then. Well, everyone, come back down south a little bit. And then we're going to really push for Sac City. I love Sac City. I love the Sac City. Cremento. Sac. Cremento. California words. Difficulty. Speaking. Yes, yes, yes. So it looks like here we got to divide up our guys a little bit. So, you all are down south. Actually, we don't really have to divide ourselves up too much. Which is kind of nice. You guys come up here, do that. You, oh. you guys, come up to the north. Come over here if you can. And do that. You guys do whatever you need to. You guys are moving up north. Good, 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 good. Make sure these guys cannot move. Cut these guys off. Very nice, very nice. And once we break through... Oh, well, actually, we already cut these guys off. That's actually pretty good. Bear packs, hello. Do that. You guys just break across already. And... Ooh, carrier effort. Very nice. Better sortie efficiency, even though I have no carriers. Well, then to each his own, I suppose. Very nice, very nice. Doing a great job. The, wow, look at that Ranger Spec Ops Division. Special Division, Special Unit. That's very weak. Very, very weak. Let's see if we could do some infrastructure up north. Very nice. These guys are cut off, which is great. Touch them in the butt. Because if you touch something in the butt, it cannot move. Supposedly. Very good. Very glorious. It just takes a little bit of time to kill off the NCR. Because I was very lazy about how I did this. And that is the truth of the matter. I'm very lazy about doing... Oh, and they're killing themselves on our line. Beautiful. Awesome. Ooh, strategic destruction. Very good. Now we can actually finally do future air force. More air attack, agility, and ground attack. Ah, I love it. I love it so much. Now, I thought we would have taken out the NCR a little bit faster than this. I didn't expect me to take out the NCR after I took out both Hopeville and Ashton, so. Oh, well. 
come over here. You do that, even though these guys should be doing this. Um, yeah. Engine order telegraph. Very good. And then we have damage screening. Very good. You guys, infantry, you're not doing very much, but that's okay. Nothing like killing our supply will help us out. Nothing like it. Oh, oops. This looks disgusting. How much more disgusting? Oh, we can make it really disgusting. More infantry? Well, really? I don't need that many generals, so come to Ulysses. Here. Uh, that part will be fine. Just, I guess, prepare yourself against the Desert Rangers. I mean, they're not going to survive for that long without any sort of manpower, so... No worries there. Go and cut down on one more of my infantry division uses. Coasts are looking pretty good. How many more days until we can kill these guys out? The destruction of Ranger Citadel, the Rangers of the Arizona Wasteland. Once the bane of all raiders in Arizona has today lost their great stronghold. Although the Rangers fought well, defending their beloved Citadel for three days straight against a massive assault and against all odds, it seems that the Rangers' favorite tactic of survivalist fighting could not stand up to the swarming ranks of S. Smee. Ultimately, the Rangers made the painful decision to withdraw from the Citadel, both to prevent further unnecessary loss of life and to ensure their leadership is not captured in one unexpected assault. Very beautiful. There's a new sheriff in town. His name is Mr. Roboto Maximilian. Do that. Uh, actually, you guys. Since they're trying to break out through here, we shall go to Scartop. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't need to go to Scartop. New Vegas. Thank you for playing. NCR. Thank you very much for playing as well. Now we have one final enemy to take out. At least for now. Everyone, let us convene at the land of the Desert Rangers. We must terminate with extreme prejudice. No hold bars back. Nothing. You're going to kill every single one of them that is still left alive. Even though we've probably killed off 65,000 rangers. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of rangers dead. So far, we've suffered actually 2,000 casualties against the rangers. That actually might be a little bit more formidable than, NC than the NCR. But wow, they've lost a lot of divisions. They this is less than a quarter amount of divisions than they started the war with. So, I mean, it's just... This is brutal. But you know what? You might just need some systematic extermination someday. Don't quote me on that. But if you do, don't paint me in a bad light. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. Anything I can do with factories? Oh, I don't want to use more electricity. Marksmanship doctrine. Uh, if we're going to build stuff, we're going to build a lot of support equipment. There you go. Um, Over here. Actually, don't we still have infantry stuff we could do? Yeah, I can still do this. I forgot about it. I didn't even use it. Oh, well. What's done is done. Do I need, be I need more ships to kill off the Desert Rangers. Yes, that makes total, complete sense. Ships to kill off the Desert Rangers. Now, it'll be interesting to see how the resistance mechanic works once uh, the next Hoi 4 DLC releases because there's going to be some major rework to resistance and occupation and how you do that. And we're not done here yet. I've already decided to go to war with the Great Khan, so I'm, I figured we might as well do that. The Great Khans are great nobodies. And we got to ensure that they remember that. So this will be the last country we take out in this campaign. Yeah, this will probably be the last episode. I'll focus on playing as someone else in the next video. I'm not sure who. I'm sure you'll give me some suggestions, suggestions which will be great. But I'm really not sure who I want to play as yet. Maybe a Mexican nation? Maybe? Power armor sounds like so much fun with the Brotherhood of Steel, but I really haven't tried too much of tribal nations either, so we'll definitely see what happens. Um, yeah, that's good. How many more days? For now, we're just kind of waiting. We got 23 days, so I guess I could talk about the campaign. It was fun. It's actually, This was definitely a different type of campaign than what I'm used to, as you can probably tell. Yeah, we'll do power armor stuff, why not? Because for literally the first five years, we did nothing except do like research and build up divisions and make sure that Maximilian would win the Civil War, or basically what I would call the Civil War, even though it really wasn't. So, I mean, right now it's 2289. Very fun. Uh, it was fun taking out the brothers. It was fun taking out Santa Ana, as well as the Rio Grande. It was initially a little frustrating to take out the Chichen Itza, 
but after you get through all the BS and whatnot, it's actually not that bad. Um, and then once you have the Chichen Itza done, I mean, it's just GG. Everyone else can't stand up to you, especially if Kaiser gets defeated by the NCR, and then the NCR still has to fight the Phoenix Federation. So, I mean, it's... It was fun playing as a nation that I think a lot of people haven't played yet, because I think a lot of people decided to play as the Republic of the Rio Grande, which is what I wanted to play up while I was fast. Play as initially, but people were like, no, everyone's done that, so I'm like, alright, I'll play as someone else. I'll play as an Austrian robot. So, other than that, I mean, I could keep playing, but I mean... We could just move on to something else, something new. So, yeah. Regardless, I know this is a little bit of a shorter video than normal, especially since some of these videos were like 37, 38 minutes long. But regardless, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this campaign. Um, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. Tell me hello on Discord. And I will see you tomorrow playing probably as someone else. And I hope you all have a tremendous, great day. Thanks for watching, guys.